recognize it. Okay, so let's get started. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Like, what the fuck did I just watch? I, oh my god, like, CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk. I, um, I, I just, words cannot describe just how much I, I love this man. I, I, I love this fucking guy so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna be ranting a bit, so I hope you, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I, it, this is kind of a rant, a rant video, because I'm gonna go in and out of, like, of different, of just different kind of stages in his career and kind of and who I see him kind of wrestling in the future and all and all that kind of shit okay so it's I'm gonna be just be all over the place so I hope you don't mind anyway so this video is just really dedicated to just to just the segment of of the show I I wasn't really paying it that much attention to to rampage itself I just I kind of just really only gave a shit about like the first like what like 10 10, 15 minutes of the show and that was just when when punk was out so let's just talk about that i i just was so like tuned in and i, I you know i like everybody's waiting for seven long fucking years for for punk to return he's finally returned he's finally here he, like he's all elite like he's all elite i can't believe it i'm i'm so fucking excited i'm so happy you know um you know, like, you know, Dar Darby Allen, I, even though he, he was not my first choice choice for him to, uh, to fight, but I, I'd rather him have, you know, Darby Allen be, be the first one than, you know, than uh, someone else. But, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see him at the pay-per-view, which that's fine, fine with me. I guess we'll see him uh, next month at the pay-per-view. Um, I, I just, like, wow. I, I, I just cannot cannot believe this. I mean, you, you already know that like the Vince Vince is, is like shit in his pants right now. You already know that Vince is like, it, like it's like well like well, well fuck what are we gonna do tomorrow? Like what are we gonna do for SummerSlam? You know, I, I mean you already know he's thinking that right. Uh, you do know that he's thinking of like some some crazy like plan on on how to, on how to like counteract whatever the fuck that that Punk you know just did on on Friday night. So yeah, I think. I think what's gonna happen is that they're probably gonna get like, like you know, like I guess uh, who oh, is it, Becky Lynch, out of out of uh, out of maternity leave or or some shit like that. They're gonna uh, you know scoop her, scoop her out, uh, whatever, um, and uh, and have her challenge whoever uh, for for the belt on Raw again or or some shit like that. I don't know, but I'm guessing that they're probably gonna get um, they're probably gonna get um, Becky to come back, Becky Lynch to come back, but Becky Lynch isn't isn't as big as as, as CM Punk, obviously, so that's not gonna work, um, you have kind of like, you know, Cena versus, you know, versus Roman, but that's only gonna, that's only gonna, that has like a certain ceiling, you know, that still isn't, isn't as big as Punk, like, Punk is bigger than that, I'm so sorry, Roman, but, but CM Punk has, has always been bigger than Roman, has always been more popular than Roman, and, and has gotten himself over, you know, with, without the help of, of fucking, uh, you know, like Vince McMahon. Okay, so I I understand that Roman like had had some like choice words uh, for him, and uh, you know, and and for uh, dearly departed Dean Dean Ambrose or AKA like you know John John Moxley. I know that Roman was talking uh, some shit. I I thought he was capping. If I'm being honest with you, I mean you, you could tell that it was a work what Roman said about about Punk, you know, because I I, I don't uh, again. Again, whether he's a heel or a face, like, you know, like CM Punk is always gold. He's always has been Raiden's gold. I understand that that the, the, maybe the summer of Punk wasn't really the best because of, of kind of interference from Triple H and maybe with Kevin Nash or whatever. But but I think things are different now because he, he is all elite, honey. Like, he is all motherfucking elite. So, hey, y'all better get with the fucking program, okay? Because he, he ain't going nowhere this time. He's actually staying, so... I don't know. I wonder who's next, cause I I think I I think uh, D Daniel Bryan or or, uh, or Brian Danielson. I think he's next actually. I think he's gonna be next, um, because I I don't I don't think um, I don't think Punk was gonna do anything without uh you know with without Dan Daniel Bryan. So I do think that Daniel Bryan has something to do with with him pulling you know pulling Punk out of out, out of out of that hole you know there's always a light at the end of every tunnel and so you know 
you, you don't have to stay broken. And so I just, I'm so happy for, uh, for, for him. I'm so happy for Punk. You know, I'm just, I'm just like thrilled right now. You, you would not believe how much, just how much excitement that, that this brings to wrestling. Like wrestling is alive again. Like shit. But I, I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe he's actually here. Like he's actually back, y'all. Like, can you believe it? I know this is great. I mean, but I, I I'm so happy. It's you know, I I can't stand Vince McMahon. So this is like, this is definitely like a a kick in the nuts to to, to, to that old old fart old fuck. You know, I like I just, I mean, I can't can't we talk? I mean, I just have to be honest with you. I think this is gonna like definitely push the needle a bit if if anything i think i think aw is going to definitely you know be here for for generations to to come i i have a feeling that it it, that it will you know um i think wwe is is going is going kind of taking a a big 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 ass like nosedive right now so i don't know what they're going to do for SummerSlam, but it cannot compare to to what happened on, on rampage i'm so sorry but but SummerSlam, I guess uh, uh, again, unless they have something, something they pull out of their ass, you know, out, out of like last minute, you know, unless they get Brock back or somebody like you know or some shit like that, if they get you know like Brock Brock Lesnar or somebody uh, back, it, it's not it's not gonna really be that that game changing. I'm sorry, but like you know, so SummerSlam is gonna have to be second best. I'm so sorry. You know, they had difficulty getting to get the celebrities uh, uh, up in that bitch too. Yeah, they could. They couldn't get Cardi B. Uh, you know, they couldn't get. Um, they tried to get. Uh, who was it? Megan The Stallion. They tried to get. Uh, like you know. Um, you know uh, the commentary for you know Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson to do commentary for like the intro to uh, the SummerSlam. Couldn't get him either. So yeah, WWE is kind of in the shitter right now. Sorry, but I, I just have to be honest. You know, this is a, 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 like an honesty channel, and I'm ranting right now. So I feel like I can do that. Yeah, I just. <sighs> Man, I mean, like Vince, Vince, you fucked up. Like you fucked up with with just everything, <laughs> everything pertaining to AEW. Yes, yes, AEW is competition. Like you, you, you old fuck. Like, like go to the retirement home with, like, with fucking like Goldberg. Like you silly asshole, you silly bitch, you. Like, go to the fucking retirement home. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so getting back to punk. Oh my god, like, he, he is all lead, y'all. I'm so excited. CM Punk is now all lead. Um, he's supposed to be making an appearance, I think, on Wednesday to talk to Tony Schiavone or somebody. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. So, that that's going to be a pretty interesting episode of Dynamite on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, just I hope, hope hopefully everybody tunes in, like, this Wednesday. Okay, guys, like, hopefully everybody will tune in and, and, and support this, like, this company. You know, it, it's it's still new. It needs all the support it can get. So hopefully, um, you know, Brian Danielson uh, can make an appearance. Um, that that would just be amazing. You know, um, it just be kind of like just like like old like old times. You know, with with uh, with with Punk and Daniel. So I, I, you know, I'm just I'm I'm into this. You know, I I think that like the, like the world is 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 it is AEW's oyster it seems so I, I I'm just I'm starting to get kind of speechless now I'm yeah I'm gonna start to look like that fucking guy in the audience I was crying yeah so I, I don't want to cry so I need to probably get off of here but yeah I I'm just you know he's he's just impacted so so many people's lives you know he, he really is what you call a legendary you know like it's, it's CM Punk will will always will forever be legendary you know and, and nobody can take that away from him you know he you know he 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 really is who he is he is who he says he is and he has never apologized for it and and that's what the fuck we like about him you know that's what i like about him that's what everybody else likes about him you know like that's that's what it really makes him you know like the, the best in the world well, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Okay, take care. Bye.